video, what's going on guys, it is SoCal Explorer, back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about my most anticipated Horror Nights mazes for this year, so without further ado, let's jump right into it, and say number 8, um, which goes to American Horror Story Roanoke, now American Horror Story Roanoke has it, it's, its own maze this year, it's not going to be like American Horror Story last year, where it was Murder House, um, Freak Show, and Hotel, now, I kind of wish they did Asylum separately. Roanoke, nonetheless, is going to be cool. I would like to see Asylum included with it or just its own separate thing because I can't see Roanoke just being alone. And honestly, I haven't watched a single episode of Roanoke only because it hasn't catched my eye. And I tried to watch one, but it just really didn't catch my eye, if you know what I mean. So, like, I don't know. I'm kind of iffy about this maze, but it is a forest type like setting so i can't wait for that because i love horse mazes number two goes to ash versus evil dead now once again another show that i have not watched a single episode for um i lied i kind of lied on my instagram saying i did but uh another show that i have not watched about an episode for but only because it hasn't really caught my eye again it looks kind of corny and um kind of cheesy but nonetheless I feel, I feel like it is really entertaining and i think that i may start watching it very soon um when i get the time um i'm very excited for this maze only because the trailer for it looks really good and i see kind of effects in the show and i'd love to see those as effects in an actual maze because i know murdy does good with effects so nonetheless i am excited for it and i can't wait for it I just realized I made a mistake before the um, audio plays over. Uh, when I say number two, I actually mean number seven, to, but I messed up. So number six is going to be Saw all the games of Jigsaw. Now um, they had a 2010 maze, which uh, I get I like. It. I didn't walk through it, but I've seen the video of it, and it's just basically all the saw traps and. Honestly, I've been rewatching the Saw series and I can't wait for this maze only because I'd like to see those traps in like real life and like see the people in them like begging for help, I guess. I, as it was weird as that sounds, but I like seeing like the movie part of it like in detail wise into an actual maze and I think that's gonna be cool. And who like who doesn't love the pig jumping down with them, scaring them and how them feeling like they're actually gonna get freaking kidnapped, but <laughs> nonetheless I'm really excited for it. Number five is the Titans of Terror Tram. Now I thought this would, this would never happen, and I'm so excited that it's happening this year to see Leatherface, Jason, and Freddy all in the tram this year. And nonetheless, host it's hosted by Chucky. So like, who couldn't love Chucky? He's a Horror Nights. Um, how do you say it? You know, I, yeah, I, I think you know what I mean. Wait, okay, I'll just say Horror Nights. Great, but. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see how they're gonna pull it off. Um, from the construction pictures, it looks like Jason Jason's area is gonna be first, and yeah, I cannot wait. Um, I've heard a lot of good concepts about this tram, and all the tram all, all the tram concepts that have been put out there have seemed really good, and I am super pumped to see what Titans of Terror brings to the tram. Number four goes The Shining, and the reason why I put this on my number four is because I am a big fan of this movie. I love the movie, the the like slow setting of him, like builds up of him being like kind of going insane, being there by himself, isolated in a way. And I know I just probably irritated the mic, but him being himself, like by himself, um, isolated and going crazy. And uh, I know that Murdy's gonna capture that in the maze, and I, I can't wait to see like how he pulls this maze off from the preview pictures that I've seen that have been out. Um, they have looked really cool and a lot better than The Exorcist, and I must say I cannot wait for this maze and all the iconic scenes. Number three goes to Horrors of Blumhouse, and I'm sorry if there's clicking in the background. I'm kind of homeless in a, in a room right now with a guinea pig or a chinchilla freaking drinking water, so I'm sorry. But number three goes to Horrors of Blumhouse. Now, when this maze got announced, I was super happy because I would love to see three mazes in an actual or three films in an actual maze in Simster, Happy Death Day, and The Purge. It's gonna be really cool, especially I'm looking forward to the um sinister because sinister is gonna be really scary and capture that vibe of the movie and the purge being outdoors and like seeing how they're gonna incorporate all three movies in the, in the one part of the maze that's also gonna be really cool i really like the concept of this maze nonetheless i like the concept of all mazes but i really like the facade like everything about this maze i enjoy and i cannot wait for it i love i can't say i can't wait for it any of them but like i really can't wait just for the event like the event is amazing so number two goes to the titans of terror the maze now this is supposed to be like a home haunt type thing and the facade looks really amazing and seeing freddy leatherface and jason all in one maze as i said before with the tram i like it's a dream come true for me because i love all three slashers and just the way that they may incorporate it god i'm saying all the same stuff but it's really like it truly is all the same 
um, in sense of, like, amazing-wise, but the way that they're gonna pull it off, and, like, I guess it's supposed to be, like, some dream thing, and then, like, incorporates, like, Jason and Leatherface into this dream, I think that's really cool, and I think it's really gonna tell, like, its own type of story, which I'm pretty excited for, so we'll see what that has to bring to HHN this year. Number one goes to Insidious and, or Insidious Beyond the Further, because, I mean, like, who doesn't love the Insidious franchise at Horror Nights, like, this is gonna be super scary, this is gonna be super creepy, each time I've gone through the Insidious mazes at Horror Nights, and I've been scared and actually felt an actual fear, and, my, and honestly, like, like, Insidious just creeps the hell out of people, and I cannot wait for that, because I love going through a maze that I actually get scared in and, and actually feel fear like I said before and see the preview pictures already it does look super creepy and does look like it's not a good first timers maze to go through so I recommend that you do not go through there the first time if it's your first night your first time ever at the event but this maze is really scary and and the way that they're bringing all four films into it is gonna be great especially the last one we're gonna get a little preview of it and like it's kind of like an, an ultimate trailer of the um last and not last and final i don't know if they're making more but the recent um movie coming out soon that's gonna do it for this video i know it was kind of random and like my, my thoughts were kind of weird and stuff but like i'm making this video super fast because i'm gonna go see it in about an hour or so and i have not seen it so i will tell you i may put out a review or something about, about it so i'll see you guys later make sure to subscribe if you like more of these videos and like yeah the horn night stuff <laughs> make sure to subscribe give this video a like um comment down below and i'll see you guys later make sure you come on exploring parks peace I'm